What an amazing machine. I'm gonna swap these uh, fan clutches. I think this one is a little worn out, causing the overheating situation. This fan clutch feels a lot tighter, so I'm super happy about that. We're about to test it out and see how she does. Everything is reconnected. Okay, I found this elbow. We're gonna install it, and uh, it even has this sticker on it. That's cool. Unfortunately, this part is slightly cracked, but I'm just gonna have to roll with it for now. You know what I love, guys? I love when cars look complete. So check this out. All the clips, everything back, this, all the plastics are there, even the cover for the ignition coil. Like, that's amazing. Yeah, so the last thing I have to do is that this battery is bad. And then I have to get that plastic right there. So I just have the plastic bag over, over all those uh, modules for now. Yeah, and then this right there on the positive too, and I'm missing the battery hold down, but everything else is there. Amazing, looking great. Connected the battery jumper. Let's see how she does. Oh, what happened there? Come on, baby. I can hear a bunch of air now flowing through here, so that's a good sign. I think she's not going to be overheating anymore. I'll let her run. Yeah, guys, just so you know, I mean, I did most of the engine stuff and everything, but there's still some parts that haven't been replaced. Yeah, so might need some work maybe also needs a o2 sensor who knows it may need uh, injectors i don't know how well they're spraying there's there's other stuff you know but she's a champ also i filled up the trans oil completely but i just slightly overfilled it just a little bit it's not gonna hurt anything but there's no leaks from the trans or uh, the engine i'm just worried i had to tighten up some sensors for the cooling system like these ones were a little loose so they were leaking but they're good now uh, this one had to be tightened up this line yeah not too bad um, the third brake light is missing like the cover and everything so I just put the tape on the bulb for now because it was gonna be really really like bright <laughs> it's almost at 80 degrees let's give it a gas Nice. Amazing machine. Also fluid filmed some stuff here. Oh, I like this. Uh, I wish I could see what that says right there. It says Seattle, but um, doesn't, can't really read the date much, huh? But I love stuff like that. Old school stickers. There's more right here. So this is a brake light switch. Um, I bought it because it's, you know, it's brand new and it's cheap to replace. You know, it's like 15 or $20. That's how even like the genuine ones I think go for that much. Yeah, so at some point maybe even, even myself or the future owner or if I don't decide to keep this car then they can replace this. Temp has been there for a while, and but it's not going up to a hundred or anything. That's good. Okay, guys. Another thing is this suppressor housing has been missing on this car, so that's what I want to do. I want to install that right now and make it nice and you know organize these spark plug wires too
ready to go back on. Okay, so now I'm just organizing all these plug wires one by one. It's got a nice schematic right here too. That's helpful. Also installing this brand new cover as well. Mercedes Benz. Driving the car, pardon the uh, buzzing sound, but everything seems to be working. ABS, I don't know, maybe that's the battery, and then the light bulb, of course, is the, uh, the light bulb in the trunk. Other than that, uh, the engine rides very well. And uh, I don't see any other problems except for the tire, which I already uh, fixed. Temperature is okay. Everything's good. Just dirty. All right. So that's it.